Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about the session is an implicit object of the HTTP session and uh, this is the state management technique that is store all the values onto the server. Let's see with practical. Here I am using the Eclipse as IDE. First I click on the file and then click on the new and take a dynamic web project. A dialog box will be displayed here and uh, simply I need here to write my project name and uh, I am giving my project name as a session demo and uh, click on the next next check the generate web.xml deployment descriptor and click on the finish my project displayed under the project explorer and uh, simply I explore my project and just I right click on web content a pop up will be displayed here and simply I click on the new and take a JSP file and I am giving my JSP file as a index.jsp press enter my index.jsp file is created here and simply I am taking here a form tag and action equal double quote close it and uh, passing here the welcome dot jsp press enter I am using here the pre tag pre formatted tag close it and uh, simply I write here enter the user name semicolon and uh, input type as a text okay I'm giving here the name equal username close it taking here input type equal submit and giving here the value as a go close it and save it look here I am using the form tag and action attribute providing here the URL of welcome.jsp so I need to create a welcome.jsp page and in the next line I am using the pre tag pre formatted tag means if you write any things as it is displayed onto the screen and I write here enter the username and taking here the input type as a text giving here the name as a username user enter any name into this text box and in the next line I am using the input type as a submit created here the button when the user enter the username and click on the button the action simply redirect to welcome.jsp and simply I save it and I need to create welcome.jsp I just right click click on the new and uh, take a JSP file and giving here my JSP file as a welcome dot JSP and press enter and taking here the scripted tag press enter declaring a variable string name equal request dot get parameter request dot get parameter and uh, passing here as argument username terminated with semicolon and uh, calling here the implicit object out and uh, print method passing here the simply within the double quote username providing here the space and plus name press enter in the next line I am using the season implicit object and calling the method set attribute and set attribute method taking two argument name and simply I am giving here the name as a user and object and object just I am passing here the name variable 
terminated with semicolon save it look here I'm using the implicit object request and calling the get parameter with the help of request and passing here the argument username when the user enter any name username into the index dot jsp in, into this text box this value we are getting here with the help of get parameter and assign into the name variable that is a string and with the help of implicit object out we calling the method print and within the double quote i simply write here the username it simply print as it is on to the screen with the help of plus and uh, within this double quote providing the space onto the screen uh, onto the this variable variable value and uh, this username uh, this is the name variable that is store the value coming from the index dot jsp and here i am using the implicit object session and calling the set attribute method the set attribute method simply take two argument user as a name and here object value as a name and the name value store into the implicit object session press enter i'm taking here the anchor tag and giving here the href and passing here the second dot jsp and write here display display the value and just i'm taking here the br tag and save it when the user click on the display the value the anchor tag tag redirect second dot jsp where i want to display the session value so i need to create the second dot jsp right click new take a jsp file and giving here my file name as a second dot jsp press enter my jsp of second dot jsp page is created here and taking here h1 label heading close it and write here display the session value session value on this page press enter and uh, taking here the scriptlet tag and declare here a variable the string name equal session calling here the session implicit object and get attribute method passing here the argument as a user terminated with semicolon and uh, just i need to type cost into the string variable so i type cost string look here this is the session implicit object with the help of get attribute method we can get the value of session passing here the user as a name and uh, this value with the help of getting attribute method store into the name variable that is a string type so i need here to type cost with the string type because the session is the implicit object so you cannot directly assign any the any object into the variable in the next line i am using calling here the out implicit object and with the help of out we call the method print just write here within the double quote as a username and providing here the space and calling here the variable name and uh, save it look here username as it is print on to the screen this double quote simply provide the space and the name variable simply print the value that is stored on to the screen and uh, this is store the session value and this session value coming from the index dot jsp page and uh, simply i save it come to index.jsp right click and uh, run as run on server 
and click on the next it is taking little time and then click on the finish okay tomcat started here 23 percent completed right now it is 100 percent completed and the b browser simply display the index.jsp onto the screen where simply user need to enter the username into the text box and click on the go okay it is taking little time enter the username and simply i am passing here the username as a ram and click on the go okay username displayed here as a ram and the ram value is stored into the session variable and when we click on the display the value it redirect to second.jsp page and simply with the help of h1 level heading display the session value on this page display the information onto the screen and username and here the session value print onto the screen now thank you friend please subscribe my channel and uh, please comment on my video and thanks for watching my video thanks a lot